We've looked at a couple of common coverage metrics that come up in practice. So we've looked at statement coverage, which is a close relative to line coverage. We've looked at branch coverage, also called decision coverage. And for most of you out there, these are the coverage metrics that are going to matter for everyday life. Now, as I said before, there are many other coverage metrics, and we're going to just look at a few of them. And the reason these are interesting is not because we're going to go out and obsessively get 100% coverage on our code on all of these metrics, but rather because they form part of the answer to the question, how should we come up with good test inputs in order to effectively find bugs in our software? So loop coverage is very easy. It simply specifies that we execute each loop zero times, once, and more than once. The insight here is that loop boundary conditions are an extremely frequent source of bugs in real codes. And so for example, if we had this loop in our Python code, so for line in open file, that is to say we want to read every line from the file and then process it to get full loop coverage we would need to test this code using a file that contains no lines, using a file that contains just one line, and using a file that contains multiple lines. Now let's look at a fairly heavyweight coverage metric called Modified Condition Decision Coverage, or MCDC. And if that seems like kind of a big mouthful, there's a reason for that, which is that MCDC coverage is required for certain kinds of avionics software. That is, if you're going to write safety-critical software where if the software fails, airplanes can fall out of the sky, then one of the things you'll need to do to show that your software is correct is get a high degree of MCDC coverage. So it's designed to be pretty rigorous, but still without blowing up into an exponential number of tests. MCDC coverage basically starts off with branch coverage. So I'm going to simplify here a little bit, but MCDC coverage basically starts off with branch coverage and additionally states that every condition involved in a decision takes on every possible outcome. Conditions are simply Boolean valued variables found in tests, and decisions are just the kind of test that we see in an if statement or a while loop or something like that. And finally, every condition used in a decision independently affects its outcome. And so that's kind of a mouthful. This is going to be hard to grasp unless we go through an example, so let's do that. 